Are you looking to take your software engineer career to the next level? Then you might want to consider focusing on your soft skills. Yeah, I know, soft skills sounds a bit vague, but it basically means the personal qualities that help you work well with others, communicate effectively and stay motivated. So why are soft skills important for us as developers? Well, let's face it, we don't work in a vacuum. We are part of a team and we need to be able to collaborate, share ideas and work through conflicts. Plus, as our career progresses, we might find ourselves taking on more leadership roles which require even more soft skills. Recently, someone asked me what they can do to move from junior to a senior role. This is what you need to do. It's not just about being a tech wizard. So what are some soft skills to focus on? Communication. Communication is a big one, whether it's written or verbal. You gotta be able to chat with your team, clients, and anyone else involved in the project. It's not just about talking tech. You need to be able to explain things in a way that everyone can understand. Plus, it's important to listen to what others need and make sure your written communication is on point. As you progress in your career, you might find yourself in a leadership role where you are responsible for building and mentoring others. Being able to motivate and inspire your team as well as delegating tasks effectively can be crucial for success. A good leader brings together talented individuals and trusts their team to freely express themselves and explore various options. They don't dictate what to do or belittle the opinions of others. To be a successful leader that people enjoy working with, you must consider everyone's opinions, gain their trust and support them in their careers. Unfortunately, some tech leads are more focused on impressing business people rather than valuing their team's members' thoughts and opinions. Avoid being one of those leaders or you might end up leading a team where nobody listens to you. Software development is usually a group effort, so it's essential to be a team player. This means sharing your ideas, receiving and giving feedback, and working together towards a common goal. And most important, be genuinely nice and authentic. Since you'll be working with your colleagues for long hours, it's better to avoid any fake behavior. A great team player is someone who is always willing to lend a hand without expecting anything in return. They genuinely care about their college success and the quality of the product they are creating. Don't seek recognition all the time, give someone else the credit. Instead of always seeking recognition and praise, try giving someone else the credit they deserve. It shows humility and it helps create a positive team dynamic. It's important not to compete with others by stepping on their toes. Instead, focus on working hard to be the best version of yourself. As a software engineer, you'll face tricky problems that demand both logical and creative thinking. It's essential to tackle problems with a systematic and inventive approach while staying open to new ways of doing things. It's important to question everything, even if your tech lead suggests a particular implementation. If you believe there is a better way to do something, take the time to explore it. Developing your problem skills can help you find innovative solutions. And this takes me to my next point, speak up your mind. Being able to speak up your mind and feel comfortable sharing a different opinion from the majority can be a huge help for climbing up the ladder. Personally, I wouldn't be where I am today if I didn't speak my mind. And I see many people doing the opposite. Many people made the mistake of agreeing with others just to fit in or appear smarter. But if you think this is going to help you in your career, you're wrong. This way of thinking doesn't help because it stops people from being creative and thinking carefully. If you question what's currently happening and share alternative perspectives, you can stand out and make valuable contributions to the team. Expressing your thoughts is the only way to create your own style, push the boundaries and become the best version of yourself. This will grab people's attention and help you advance on your career, believe me. 
what the majority companies want is innovation. And this cannot be achieved if everyone thinks the same, you know? It requires diverse perspectives and ideas, combine them and create something that is actually truly amazing and innovative. Having said that, I had situations where people didn't like me because of having an opposite opinions than them. So, oh well, they're bad. Either way, it's important to be respectful and considerate when expressing your opinions. Take the time to listen to others and understand their perspectives before sharing your own. So listen first and talk after. Ultimately, the goal is to create a culture of open dialogue and collaboration where everyone feels comfortable sharing their ideas and challenging each other to be the best we can be. In sour development, paying close attention to details is crucial as even small errors can cause major problems. So it's essential to truly review and test your code while keeping, keeping coding standards and documentation in mind. But being meticulous takes time. So my next point is time management. It's not easy to manage time, especially when you are working with tight deadlines and multiple priorities. But it's crucial to work on these skills to be able to manage your time effectively and prioritize tasks. So you can't meet the deadlines and deliver high quality work. But it's important to remember that there is a time and place for everything and there is always tomorrow. Instead of overworking yourself and burning out, it's better to prioritize and leave some tasks for the next day. Don't compromise your well-being by taking out too much work. Another thing to keep in mind is learning to prioritize how much time you dedicate to each task. You don't necessarily need to uh, read and comment on every single thread people post in Teams or other communication channels. Instead, you can set aside some time to go through the main highlights, answer only when you feel you can add value and then get back to your own tasks. This is just an example. My next point is flexibility. Things keep changing all the time. That's why it's crucial to be open to learning new technologies and techniques. By being able to adapt and willing to learn new things, you'll be able to keep up to date and improve your skills. Keep an open mind and don't get too comfortable with one technology. Avoid getting stuck in all ways of doing things. If a team member is suggesting a cool and new library, be up for giving it a go. Also, as projects evolve, their requirements change. Clients change their mind all the time. We all do. We are all humans. We are indecisive. We think we know what we want, but we don't. So try to understand and adjust the approach to find creative solutions to these challenges. So there you have it. If you want to become a truly great developer, it's not just about the code. Focus on your soft skills and make sure to at least master these eight soft skills to become unbeatable. No matter how good you are at coding, if you don't have these soft skills, you are not going to become a successful senior software engineer or a, a software engineer that people would love to work with. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about these skills. Are you good at them? Is there any other soft skills you think we must have to be successful? If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and I will leave you with the right mindset to become a great software engineer. Thank you for watching.